Hello everyone. So today we are going to discuss about micro operations. So we have uh, many micro operations. So computer system, we have four types of micro operations. Okay. The first one is register transfer micro operations. Second one, arithmetic micro operations. Third one, logic micro operations. And fourth one, shift micro operations. So out of these, so let us discuss about uh, arithmetic micro operations. So what is arithmetic micro operations? The name itself says here. So arithmetic micro operations are uh, like addition, add, subtract, multiplication, division. So these comes under arithmetic micro operations. Okay. So uh, coming to arithmetic micro operations, the basic arithmetic micro operations are addition, subtraction, increment and decrement. Okay. So uh, what are the additional arithmetic micro operations do we have here? So add with carry, subtract with borrow, a transfer or load, etc. So these are the additional arithmetic micro operations, but the basic arithmetic micro operations are addition, subtraction, increment, decrement. Okay. So these are uh, our uh, basic arithmetic micro operations. So if you see the summary of typical arithmetic micro operations, so you can see the table here. Okay. So R3 tends to R3 tends to R1 plus R2. See contents of R1 plus R2 are transferred to R3. That means the contents present in R1 is added with R2 and the result is stored in R3. So next is R3 tends to R1 minus R2. Okay. So contents of R1 minus R2. So it's subtracted and the result is transferred to R3. Okay. So next is complement the contents of R2. So what are the contents present in R2 are complemented and the result is stored in R2 as well. So next one R2 tends to R2 dash plus 1 that is 2's complement that is 1's complement plus 1 is nothing but 2's complement which is nothing but your negation. So next is subtraction. So R1 plus R2 bar plus 1 that is R1 plus R2 bar plus 1 is nothing but 2's complement. So it's nothing but subtraction. So coming to increment R1 plus 1 is our increment right. So R1 tends to R1 plus 1 and coming to decrement R1 tends to R1 minus 1. So it's decrement. So now let's see 4 bit binary adder or subtractor or incrementer. Okay. So first we'll see about binary adder. So what is binary adder? So as we know that so we have uh, four bits like A0, A1, A2, A3. So as we know that A3 is the most significant bit. So A3 is MSB. So we can write here A3 is MSB. Okay. So what about A0? So A0 is LSB that is least significant bit. L S B. So A0 is least significant bit. Okay, so uh, coming here in the same manner, we have B0. So B0, B1, B2, B3. So in this, B3 is MSB and B0 is LSB. So B3 is most significant bit and B0 is least significant bit. So these two are added. So how we can say that, how to add that? So if you see carefully, for example, if I have like this 0, 1, 1, 0. Okay. And 1, 0, 1, and 1. So, what is this here? I am adding two numbers here. Okay. So, let us assume that. So, this is A0. So, A0. And this is A3. Okay. So coming to the uh, next one. This one is B0. So this one is B3. Okay. 
right now we have a carry over here so c naught okay so initially and finally we will get our output s naught s1 s2 s3 that is sum that means we are adding two numbers and we will get sum right sum plus carry so what is binary order it's a combination of sum along with carry okay so first let us let me add 0 and 1 so 0 plus 1 it's 0 okay so 1 plus 1 0 with carry 1 okay so i am i, I need to add carry here again 1 plus 1 0 with carry 1 okay now 1 plus 1 plus uh, sorry 1 plus 1 again 0 with carry 1 okay so uh, this is my uh, output here so finally uh, this is c0 c1 c2 and c3 and finally c4 so in this way uh, i will add my numbers so a0 a1 a2 a3 the same manner b0 b1 b2 b3 okay so uh, coming to uh, binary adder subtractor so what is the exact difference so first we discussed about uh, adder now what is binary adder subtractor right so instead of having uh, two different circuits so what i am saying here i have a binary adder circuit and let us assume that we also have a binary subtractor circuit okay so instead of having two different circuits it's better to have a, a single circuit so we call it as a binary adder circuit a binary adder subtractor so if you see the second diagram here so we have four full adders okay so uh, remember we have a half adder as well as full adder okay so we have four full adders here and Again the same process, I have A0, A1, A2, A3. So why uh, there is a XOR operator for B0, B1, B2, B3? Is there any difference? If you see the first diagram and if you uh, compare the first diagram and the second diagram, in the first diagram we don't have uh, this XOR operator, right? So uh, I directly have A0, A1, A2, A3 and I have B0, B1, B2, B3. So coming to the second, uh, second diagram, I have an additional XOR operators here. So B0, B1, B2, B3. And I have an M uh, input also. So what is this M input? So how to differentiate addition and subtraction? So is there any difference here? So if you see carefully, so first I have A0, A1, A2, A3. So uh, there is no difference in that. So what about B0? So B0 is XOR operator. So what is XOR operator truth table? 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. So what happens there? So uh, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. So what I will get? 0, 0, I will get 0, 0, 1, I will get 1, 1, 0, I will get 1, uh, 1, 1, I will get 0. So this is my XOR operator. So how to differentiate uh, uh, B0? So why? Because I have an XOR operator here, right? So here we have a mode bit, mod bit. So we call it as mode. So M stands for mode. So what if M equal to 1? So if M equal to 1, we perform subtraction. So if M equal to 1, we perform subtraction. So if m equal to 0, we perform addition. Okay. So here m, this mode bit differentiates whether we perform addition or subtraction. So if m equal to 0, we perform addition. If m equal to 1, we perform subtraction. So that's the difference. So uh, that's the reason instead of having uh, two different circuits, so uh, what we are doing here, we are having one single circuit and we call it as binary adder subtractor. So here M differentiates whether it is an, uh, uh, whether it is an adder or subtractor. So remaining all uh, same here. So we have uh, some S0, S1, S2, S3. So if it is an addition, uh, uh, we, uh, we have uh, uh, some as well as carry. 
so what about subtractor then so coming to subtractor here we perform uh, two complement right so one complement plus one so in this way uh, we perform binary order subtractor and we have uh, one more thing called binary incrementer so in binary incrementer we will take uh, four half adders okay so uh, a0 a1 a2 a3 and we uh, we give the input one here okay so and we have xy that means we will uh, we'll add x and y and we will get sum as well as carry so the sum is s0 s1 s2 s3 okay and carry is forwarded to the second half adder and the second half adder carry is forwarded to the third half adder and the third uh, half adder carry is forwarded to the fourth half adder so in this way we perform uh, that is binary increment so binary increment we are adding one year so what is binary incrementer so if i have a that is a plus 1 so first we should add one right so we we'll, uh, obviously we will generate carry and that carry is forwarded to the uh, what to say uh, this carry is forwarded here and again this carry is forwarded here and this carry is forwarded here and finally we will get the final carry so in this way we can differentiate binary adder binary adder subtractor and binary incrementer so and now we will construct an arithmetic circuit here okay so if you see uh, the diagram carefully here we considered uh, 4 4 into 1 multiplexers okay so 4 4 into 1 multiplexer that means we will have 4 inputs and we will get 1 output and here we are taking 4 uh, uh, full adders so full adder 1 full adder 2 full adder 3 and full adder 4 so what exactly uh, happening here is so uh, for each multiplexer we will have two selection inputs s1 s2 so that is what two selection inputs that is 2 power 2 so if we have two selection inputs so what happens here 2 so 2 power n that is 2 power 2 will get 4 okay so that is what 4 into 1 multiplexer is okay and we will use 4 uh, full adders here okay so i have a carry input here c in okay s1 s0 so i will get 8 operations here why because c in s1 s0 that is 3 3 that means 2 power 3 so 2 power 3 is 8 okay so if you see here i am using 4 uh, 4 into 1 multiplexers and 4 full adders so the output which i get is d0 d1 d2 d3 and finally the carry is c out so first we will provide c in that is uh, carry input and finally we will get carry output okay so if you see here uh, uh, i am giving uh, c in s1 s0 so instead of giving s1 s2 uh, providing for all the four multiplexers so here i am drawing s1 s0 and c in and i will i will uh, draw some uh, vertical line so that i will have a connection for all the four multiplexers so you can see here i am connecting s1 to s0 s0 like that so for each multiplexer i am connecting here so four multiplexers and uh, here for B a1 a a0 a1 a2 a3 is common and in the previous example we discussed about uh, adder subtractor right so here b0 is i am using a negation operator that means if b0 is 0 the input which i provide is 1 why because i am uh, using not operator here so if it is 1 i'll get 0 so here this is negation operator right so not operator if i give 1 i will get 0 so if i give uh, 0 i will get 1 okay so a not a1 a2 a3 will not change and b not b1 b2 b3 i will use not operator here okay so uh, if you see a not a not is directly connected with x not of full adder a1 is directly connected with x1 of full adder so you can see here a not is connected to x not a1 is connected to x1 a2 is connected to x2 and a3 is connected to x3 so coming to b not so the b not uh, will not give the direct output here uh, the output which is uh, coming from the 4 4 into 1 multiplexes is given to y not okay so then those two are added and i will get the carry okay and finally i will get the output d0 uh, d not d1 d2 and d3 so and uh, coming to b not i am applying here not operator so b not the direct input is given to the 0th input of 4 into 1 multiplexer you can see here 
okay uh, so uh, b not to zero input and uh, the negation that is not operator is applied to for one and coming to uh, second operator again zero is applied here for the two and again my not operator of one you can see here okay so for all the four multiplexes the same process is applied okay so and finally i'll get an uh, get my output here okay so this is output one which is applied to y not this is output two which is applied to this one this is output three like that so all these outputs are applied here and finally i'll get d not d1 d2 d3 so you can uh, see the uh, table here so that you will get a clear idea about it so s1 s not c in okay so uh, so it's three inputs right so obviously i will get eight so 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 0 1 1 1 0 0 1 1 1 1 1 0 1 1 1 that is now this is 0 this is 1 this is 2 this is 3 this is 4 5 6 7 8 so 0 to 7 okay so uh, 0 0 0 you can observe it is connected with b b naught b that is d equal to a plus b that is add operation okay so 0 0 1 d equal to a plus b plus 1 if you if you apply 0 0 1 then b is applied to a plus b and i will get a carry that is add with carry if it is 0 1 0 that's negation a plus b bar that is subtract with borrow if it is 0 1 1 okay so that is b bar d equal to a plus b bar plus 1 that is subtract so if it is a plus b bar uh, the first one that is subtract with borrow if it is a plus b bar plus one it's a two's complement right so it is subtract so if d equal to a it's nothing but transfer a if d equal to a plus one it's nothing but increment a if d equal to a minus one it's nothing but decrement a and if d equal to a it's nothing but transfer a so uh, with this table uh, it's clear cut that these are the operations uh, uh, this is the perfect arithmetic circuit that is four bit arithmetic circuit okay so what exactly uh, we discussed here so we use four into one uh, four four into one multiplexes and four pull ladders and finally we'll get an output d naught d1 d2 and d3 with uh, uh, c in s1 s naught as our inputs and we have a naught a1 a2 a3 which is connected directly to x naught of pull ladder and b naught b1 b2 b3 have uh, two different inputs like uh, b naught with zero uh, with 1 that is 0 1 and uh, 2 3 inputs again 0 and 1 so uh, with this diagram it's very clear right so uh, have a look once have a look at the diagram once so that you will get a clear idea what we discussed okay right so uh, this is arithmetic arithmetic circuit in the pre uh, in the next we will discuss about logic micro operations the students who are watching my channel for the first time i request you to please subscribe my channel and please share my videos to your friends uh, who are studying in other different colleges in uh, please share these videos in whatsapp groups and please support my channel in all possible ways and i request your uh, genuine feedback uh, in the form of comments so please uh, type comments if you have any doubts in the today's lecture or uh, uh, previous lectures or uh, future lectures. So uh, please support me in all possible ways. Thank you. Thank you very much and have a wonderful day.